<laughs> Can you even imagine that it's actually in the middle of the night right now? It's soon one in the night and it will not get any darker than this. The sun is actually just about to rise again. So from now it will only be lighter. <laughs> so welcome to June, <laughs> the month of magic. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it on my face but I'm just... I'm so so happy. June can really be like another world in a way. Um, I had never experienced June like this before I moved here. But uh, since I moved here it's like my favorite 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 month. I feel like I have said that so many times to every month but of course every you know season has its own magic but June is like I can't even describe I mean, you see how it looks like. It's, it's like entering a new dimension in a way, because that's how I really feel. So for those of you who doesn't know why it's bright all night here now, uh, it's because uh, I live uh, in the north of Sweden and the sun doesn't really set, so it gets all dark. Um, here where I live in, uh, in about the end of June, that's when it's the brightest time. Uh, the sun only, you know, goes down behind the forest just for like 30 minutes or like an hour and then it goes up again. So it's like this light all night, but in, in the end of June it's even more bright. So And if you live even further north, uh, you can see the sun all night. It's, uh, it's up, so you can see it. And uh, yeah, that's called the midnight sun. And that's magical, you know.
my very first day at my new working place, my new office and studio. And so this morning, <laughs> when I went to work, I grabbed this huge key <laughs> that goes into this door. I've always dreamed about having a huge key like this that goes to somewhere important. And now I have that. <laughs> it felt a bit unreal. I'm just totally in love with this cottage and this area where it's at. It's just a whole feeling. <laughs> when I came here this morning, it felt like stepping into a fairy tale. I mean, this is, um, it, this is more than I've ever dreamed of, to have this cute little house as a working place. I'm just so lucky. <laughs> so hopefully tonight I'm gonna start editing this vlog in here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just have a feeling that I just gonna have so much more creativity now and inspiration because I'm at the right place. Because wow, I can't even describe. Everything about this place feels so right that, yeah, it, it, I have no words. So I'm sitting outside here at the, in the door and it's so cozy. <laughs> it actually feels so good now when life is slowly getting back to, to normal again or normal here at this new place, <laughs> it's quite different, but you know, getting back to, to work and, and living normal, because uh, when you move to a new house or a new place, it's, it's a lot to do. Even if we're not done yet, it feels like we're finding our new rhythm again, kind of. I don't know, the last weeks uh, was uh, very intense, uh, in good ways too, but after a while, I think both me and Joanne felt uh, very stressed because um, first of all, we we had renovated a lot and were really tired and and then moving all the things and we we wasn't really done with that. So half the house is still <laughs> not moved and you know, every morning we search for clothes and boxes and, and then after two weeks, it was uh, a lot of work to do. We had to go back to work again even though we didn't really felt done with moving and and also we we've, we've had a lot of people here every day ever since we moved which is wonderful i mean we want to show everybody we know this beautiful house but after a while it it became so much that uh, it felt like we <laughs> we spent so much time just guiding people around and showing the beautiful garden and the house that we had not even ourselves enjoyed it yet we had not you know walked around alone and really take in everything so i think it it um, it was really much for a while okay i just had to move the camera a little bit because it's so warm outside today so it got overheated when i had it in the sun but yeah so <laughs> we had a very intense time and both me and you felt a little bit uh down and a bit stressed but uh, the end of last week was like a turning point uh, when it shifted. <laughs> Even though it actually was so intense as well, it was like everything came to, to an edge. Because during the weekend it felt like everything happened at the same time and we were lots of people, but it really felt like it was needed, like it was meant to be. So first of all, my whole family was here during the weekend. As some of you know already, my mom lives in this village as well. Uh, but my dad, he lives part-time uh, in Gothenburg and part-time here because he works in Gothenburg. Uh, so he came up and uh, also my brother Isaac, my, my older brother, and his wife Hanna. And their two adorable kids, Noak and Clara. So they actually came up spontaneously, they had not planned it, so we got to know it the same day that they were also coming up with my dad. Uh, and my younger brother, Philip, he lives uh, in a town about an hour away from here, so, so he also came during the weekend. Philip, do you like our house? Yeah, yeah. And So my whole family was, uh, was here and that, that doesn't really happen so many times a year because uh, we live quite uh, spread out. And on Saturday, it was uh, the yearly cleaning day in Grunshan. <laughs> so this village has like a, one day a year where a lot of people come together and help to clean. Uh, for example, the beach. <laughs> we have like a beautiful beach, like in the middle of the forest, down by the lake. Uh, so, so every year we come together and we help to clean up 
there a little bit from, I don't know what to say, reed and, or twigs and stuff that, that floats up from the water and to clean the sauna and and some people change windows on, on the house that the village has. And yeah, that's a really beautiful day. I mean, we are only like 10 people living here all year around, uh, but there are many people that have cottages here, like comes here in the summer or in the weekends. So there's amazing people. I mean, I always feel so happy and proud of this village, you know, when everyone comes together. And yeah, I think it's, uh, we have a lot of fun here. So I was joining the, the cleaning day, of course, uh, but you one didn't uh, because, uh, well, I will tell you soon, but we had friends over this weekend and I think we stayed up quite late, so he was sleeping because it started quite early, so. But it was, uh, it was a fun day and especially since my whole family was there. And also during this weekend, we had uh, some wonderful friends staying from Thursday until Sunday. It was my friend Julia, she was my classmate in high school and it was her sister Almina and Almina's husband Quail. So they came up here and visited uh, and Julia has never been here before. I actually haven't met her in many many years. I've only met her once since I moved uh, to Grunshan nine years ago. But I've always known that she's, uh, she's one of those friends that you're always gonna have. You don't really need to have so much contact or see each other for many years, but you still, you know, you have each other. You're gonna meet someday. To be honest, I was really nervous first because uh, having friends, uh, you know, visiting you and, and sleep over and stuff, that, that never really happens in our lives anymore. Like since I moved here, I don't, hang out with friends so much like if I meet friends it's only like taking a coffee or doing something during the day but I've never had like friends visiting me like this and so I was a bit nervous uh, like how to handle it like I didn't know how to to be social for so many days <laughs> I know it sounds weird but and also I was a bit uh, stressed out before because we have had such an intense time and I was so tired and and actually the last thing I, I wanted was to hang out with, with people again. But you know, sometimes you don't even know yourself what you need the most. And <laughs> like the first minute they came here, I just felt this relaxing feeling. Like, yeah, okay, this was meant to happen. They were meant to come here now when we least uh, felt it was timing for it. They just gave this uh, relaxing feeling that we didn't need to take care of them or, or make sure they had fun and actually they took care of us. They uh, were cooking delicious dinners every day and Julia is a really good cook so she, you know, she made so good food <laughs> and we had not eaten well in many weeks since we moved because we were in such a hurry and so, uh, so that was really good and, and they also helped us with the garden, they were making such a beautiful strawberry land and it was just so beautiful and and I could really see that they enjoyed it they didn't do that because they felt they needed to they did it because they wanted and, and that's a big difference you know so so very quickly I felt relaxed and it only felt fun I remember I woke up on Friday morning feeling all excited because I I wanted to spend time with them Oh my god, I really need to get a better camera soon because this camera gets overheated if I have it on for too long. It doesn't happen in the winters when it's cold outside, but now in the summer when it's warm, I, I had to close it down now for half an hour. <laughs> ah, Well, we had so much fun that weekend and it was such a luxury feeling to don't do anything else and just you know hang out with friends and and we ate really late dinners we uh, started eating like midnight every evening because uh, it's so light outside now so you get all the time feels very strange uh, but it was so cozy and you know you know we don't do this stuff really often but it was just so nice you know have a good dinner and have some wine and just talk all night long yeah 
yeah, we had really fun and one of the evenings we went to visit Näverinäsan, which is uh, it's an old fire tower here in the forest. Uh, it's uh, up on a big hill and it's uh, it's like you have to walk a little bit through the forest to get there. Wait! <laughs> this is like I took a bunch of city people out here. <laughs> I'm just waiting Don't for someone to fall. <laughs> it's a little bit scary to climb up uh, there because it's very high and uh, this day it was really windy as well. But um, we all managed to climb up there and uh, the view was amazing. All your life you've tried to be a good man inside. Did everything that you thought you should. Didn't seem to do you any good. I know you've tried so hard. Ooh, I know you've done your part. It's not fair. You did your time. I, I feel like we really needed this just to have fun and just to relax and and also I'm really thankful that I got to meet Julia again uh, as I told you she she was my classmate in high school and uh, she was one of my closest friends uh, but I now as a grown-up I've been thinking a lot about uh, the time in high school and I've been feeling sad sometimes that I didn't really, I wasn't a really good friend at that time. I, I didn't really appreciate my friends. That's because I was uh, busy being in my own bubble with the problems and you know, I was a, a typical teenager back then. I was not happy at that time. I felt really insecure. I didn't really knew who I was. I felt unhappy a lot and you know bad relationships and you know this typical teenager time like I usually went back home to sleep instead of being in school hanging out with my friends or I didn't really like to hang out after school so much and yeah I was not uh, the best Jonah back in time so sometimes I think about that and I'm like, why didn't I pr appreciate it more when I had my friends so close? Because now I, I never see Julia or my other friend Linda anymore. They live so far away, but at that time I saw them every day. I wish I could just go back and just, you know, show them how much they actually meant to me. So yeah, I guess uh, it was a deeper meaning to meet Julia again. For me, I feel like we could uh, almost change our friendship now into something else now when we are grown up and I, I really hope to, you know, seeing her more often and uh, I so much look forward to when they will come here next time. Uh, I, I feel like I have so much more to show them and so much more I want to talk about and, and share so it really felt like me and Joan, we, we got some new friends this, week, this weekend and we are really thankful for that. And then on Sunday, uh, just after our friends left, uh, Johan's parents, Kalle and Margareta, came uh, to our house. And uh, Kalle was gonna help us um, putting in a dishwasher. The kitchen we have, it, it's handmade. <laughs> so it, there was no really good space for having one, uh, since it's very old. Uh, so um, we needed to, to fix it a little bit. Juan's dad is really good with you know carpenting, did you say that? Uh, so we are really thankful that he could come and help us to, to put it in so it would look good. And my mom and dad and my little brother Philip came by that day as well. So we had like a little family meeting. After that day, that evening, I was so tired. I just, my eyes were just going into cross because I, I couldn't keep my eyes open. I was so so tired and I guess like all tiredness from all these weeks just came. So now we are here and uh, it feels uh, like these two last days um, like we finally understood that we have moved here. It took a long time for everything to you know land. <laughs> Yesterday I felt 
first time the true, true happiness that we were here. Before it almost felt like a dream, like it wasn't really true. And since so many things happened all the time and so much people and everything, I, it felt like dizzy in our heads. We couldn't really take it in. But uh, the last two days now, me and Joanne have been here ourselves and we have spent a lot of time just being in the garden and wow, it's just, <laughs> I feel this tingling feeling in my stomach because I'm so happy. It's something with the smell here that so much reminds me of my childhood when I was here in Grunshan in our cottage in the summers. It's something with the old wood and uh, the, the dry grass and I think the earth here where it's more forest. It's hard to explain but it's a certain smell that I have like been longing for my whole life. Yeah, it reminds me so much of my grandpa and my grandma in the summers when they were sitting outside the cottage and drinking coffee. Um, I really feel like I, I'm home. And <laughs> this morning I, I for real, I was thinking that maybe I'm dead now because it just felt so beautiful. It felt like being in a paradise. So perfect and so beautiful that I felt like it's, this could be how it looks like when I die. Or at least I hope so, you know, when you're really old and, and you die, then you come home again. And this is home for me. And then I see my love, my Yuan, waiting for me, <laughs> or something like that. But uh, I'm, I'm happy that I don't need to die to have this. I'm alive <laughs> and I so much look forward to continue our lives here. I'm very curious to see how it's going to affect us and how our life is going to bloom out now when we are at this place. If you wonder why I'm looking there all the time, it's because Yuan is <laughs> sitting there by the barn. He's working in the garden. It's very cute. So warm today. I'm not used to it. I think me and Juan has to go and take a swim in the lake later. That would be really nice. It will be like the first swim this summer. And then I'm gonna start editing this vlog. And it's gonna be so cozy to be in here to work with it. Alright, thank you so much for watching this video and uh, I see you soon again. Take care everybody. Bye bye.